Chairman, thank you, Mr. Smith, for, for being here today. If I could, Mr. Smith, I think from my standpoint in listening to others question you today, the really the most glaring problems is the length of time between when, when this uh, breach occurred to when the public was notified. And I've heard your explanations this morning. To that end, on September 7th, when Equifax claimed that they recently discovered, quote, unquote, a cybersecurity incident involving consumer information, but of course, you knew back in July. So if I can, let me back it up for just a moment. From a, from a governance standpoint, did Equifax have a pre-existing plan in place for a contingency such as this, for a breach such as this? Uh, if I may, before I answer the question, point of clarification, I was not aware in July there was a breach. I was not aware until mid-August, as I've said before, uh, and then not till late August uh, that there was a breach. And even that data continued to evolve until September 7th, and again, it's a Monday of this week. To answer your question specifically, Congressman, yes, uh, there was a crisis management uh, written protocol in place, uh, and it applied to many crises, uh, including a data breach. Did it anticipate a breach as big as this breach? Now, the crisis management protocol that we have in place is a breach in general. It doesn't specify you react differently if it's 145 million versus 5 million. Did Equifax, did Equifax in fact, uh, use that protocol for this breach? Yes. Was it executed properly? Not with that issue, as we've talked about. That's because the system, the people were overwhelmed on the sheer volume. So I understand that the the website that you've set up to provide consumers information about the breach, which is EquifaxSecurity2017.com. In fact, that domain name was secured on or about August 22nd. Does that sound about right? Sounds about right. All right. So that website, in some form or fashion, was ready to go some two weeks prior to the announcement. Is that right? Yes, uh, Congressman, that's approximately right. And remember, the thing we talked about is the uh, one, the data was still moving, it was fluid. Uh, we were wanting to be as accurate and as transparent as possible on the data. Uh, number two, we talked about Mandiant, the cybersecurity forensic team, had recommended that we prepare for increased uh, cyber attacks post uh, announcement. And third was we had to stand up the environment that you're referring to so consumers can get access to free services. I do want to follow up. Uh, at the beginning of this morning, Chairman Hensling asked you about law enforcement. Mm -hmm. I understand that the FBI is involved. They're leading the investigation. Is that correct? That is correct. Is the Secret Service also involved? Not to my knowledge. Are there any other law enforcement agencies involved in the investigation? There may be. I've been so focused on the FBI. I know that law enforcement, whether including the FBI, there may, may possibly be other law enforcement. There are other agencies that are involved in, in the investigation. Is there any law enforcement agency or any agency whatsoever that recommended to you or to Equifax that you not disclose this breach until when you disclosed it in September? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, no. They were involved starting August 2nd. Uh, we communicated with them uh, routinely throughout the process. We made them aware in September. We plan on going live on September 7th. You mentioned earlier that you hired Mandiant on or around August the 2nd. That's right. You mentioned King and Spalding, who you've hired for legal purposes. Have you also hired a, a PR crisis team? Uh, yes, Congressman, we did. And who is that? In fact, we hired... Uh, uh, two, uh, a company called Edelman, well-known crisis management team uh, at the tactical level uh, to help us uh, understand, track uh, a variety of, uh, of input from, from different sources, social media, uh, broadcast media, uh, regulators, state AGs, so on and so forth, and then a crisis management, kind of a strategic consultant as well. You mentioned King and Spalding. Have you... Uh, inquired of King and Spalding or any other law firm uh, concerning bankruptcy protection for Equifax? No, sir. Uh, no bankruptcy protection whatsoever. 
Have I consulted a law firm? Or anyone else concerning bankruptcy protection for Equifax? No, sir. Let me ask it another way. Has anybody at Equifax sought advice for bankruptcy protection for Equifax? Not that I'm aware of. That's all that I have. I yield.